Hello everyone, in one of my old videos I made the first impression regarding Lirigo T-Dangle S3. Today, after a long long time, I find also a purpose. Well, uh, not today, but some time ago I found uh, a firmware which is uh, open source and it's giving a lot of capabilities of this device if you are looking for similar device as USB rubbery duck and a lot of penetration things. I already flashed uh, the firmware, I tested a little bit. I will just plug into battery and show you how it's starting. So right now uh, device it's running, it's running in the USB mode as serial and uh, class uh, input device. I will show you how to, to flash the USB army knife flash and uh, how you can configure and uh, have a lot of test with this device. I strongly advise use only on your test environment and inside of your home, not for bad things or bad purpose. I will not uh, advise that. Let's begin with the flashing process, downloading the firmware and later how to play with this. This is the GitHub page for USB Army Knife. I will include also the links in the description. So the USB Army Knife is the ultimate uh, tool for penetration, tester and red teams. Of course, it can run on a lot of devices. They uh, recommend uh, the Liligo T Dangle S3. Also, there are other devices ready to work with it. But the main uh, features of this firmware is it can uh, do USB attacks, uh, emulate as a mass storage device, uh, USB network, Wi Fi, different attacks. Also, you can do evil porter and uh, a lot of scripts. Also, there are some videos here. But I will show you the, the flashing process. So, for example, I will download the last firmware. If we go to releases, we can see all the releases. I will uh, choose this one. I will use the S3 dongle. I will download. I was also downloaded before. I have it here. I will unzip it. So I have my uh, bootloader, the firmware file, and the partition. But in addition to this, we will still need to to get uh, another partition file, which is the boot app. This one. I will download the file. I will include also this uh, link in my video. And I will use the ESP web flash tool in order to flash this device. Now I will plug it in my USB device and hold uh, the button in order to can flash it again. Of course, I will allow it. Since it's connected, I will just click on the connect. I will select my device from here. It's connecting and uh, we need to do some modification here. First one, I will go to select. I will go to my downloads and I will select the firmware and I will choose the bootloader. The bootloader is the first. We will need to modify the addresses. The second one, I will put uh, 
the partition this one and the third file I will use the boot app which I have it here and the last one it will be the, the firmware okay now let's make sure the bootloader always need to be on this address 0, 0x40 the partition it's the right address the boot app is also on the correct address and uh, the firmware it's starting uh, on the correct address and now I click uh, on program as you can see here it's the terminal but yeah flashing the new firmware will override the current firmware yes I agree to continue and the flash outed it will take some time but we have also a log okay so we have uh, the firmware written into the dongle now I will need to unplug reconnect back to the computer by default it's having uh, as you can see it's changed to expressive USB tiny device I can allow it but I don't want to set up a keyboard because it's seen now as a human input device but what it's nice by default it's have his own uh, access point now we can connect to the device and make some changes okay as you can see it's iphone 14 i will click i already had connected in the past so it's not requiring me the wi-fi password but the wi-fi password it's password and now if i copy the link address let's go in a new tab I will allow and this is the dashboard for the USB army knife so we have uh, scripts which we can run but this scripts needs to be loaded from the github so here we have um, examples but I don't have any more connection to internet but I can show you later we have some settings if we want to change the access point name the access point password if it's enabled by default what type of device it is we can also emulate some manufacturers or some product description we have uh, comments which we can execute we have uh, the file browser here for example if we put uh, some files on SD card we can browse it Okay, we can make also VNC connection. I just uh, needed to connect a few seconds to my Wi Fi. And we have also the logs. We cannot run here, it's an error, cannot be loaded the auto run file from SD card because my SD card right now it's uh, empty. But for example, as you can see, 1% usage of SD card. Normally, I don't advise to use it as a USB mass storage to, to write and to read 
data from it, it's not suitable. It's very slow. But let me connect uh, back to my network. And back to the internet and here we have the, the scripts which we can put automatically to to run so for example if we want to put uh, evil ap what's it generating uh, an access point which is called apple free wi-fi and it's uh, who it's connecting, it's redirecting to a fake Apple page where it's storing the credentials. So if we check the script, so we have these settings and the evil portal will start this page. If I download it and uh, let's see how it's looking, everyone who will connect to this hotspot which it's called apple free wifi will get this page in order to input their username or the apple id and password this will be stored directly on sd card of your device but i don't advise to to use it in public areas it's just for penetration test. So right now, let's do also a test. I don't have these files on SD card, but I already downloaded everything. So we will do like this. I will insert my SD card. So I have the SD card, which is the settings generated. I will go to the branch, which I downloaded from the GitHub. I will get the examples. I will get evil AP. We have also readme file, which is selling, it's telling us to copy the file and blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I will put I don't need the readme. I will copy these two files. Let's power up the device. I have power up the device from an external battery, so I don't have it connected to my computer anymore. Okay, let's see on other networks. So we have the Apple free Wi-Fi internet connection. Let's hit connect. It will not require any password or nothing. automatically on my computer it pop up this window also if you try to connect with your iphone it will uh, tell you the same so for example on test.com and i will use password one two three and i click enter it's nothing, not even an error or something. I will unplug the device from the battery. I will grab the SD card and put it back into my computer. Okay. And we have uh, a new file, which is called evil portal underline zero dot log. And if I open that file, you can see the username and the password which I set it. Looking back at the scripts, we have a lot of other scripts we can run and make our device interesting. As you already saw, we flashed the firmware. It's still running the SD card with Eva AP, but I need to plug it back. So I will get it from the computer. 
plug it back into the device. I will not connect to any computer. I will just uh, connect to a battery, a power bank. The screen is showing like this. And I will connect to Apple free Wi-Fi from the mobile phone. Let's see the network. You can see it. this is the second one. I will connect. And it's already popping me the same window. So I will put phone at email.com and I will put password ABC and I will click next and it will tell nothing but this device already recorded my password if I unplug it and connect the SD card back to the computer we can see we have uh, another entry in the evil portal file.